Hey, it's Tuxbird, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another, it's been a while, weekly reset video. The reason why I'm doing it this week is because me and Snake were just, you know, playing, grinding it out, and uh, we saw the weekly reset, and we're like, whoa, we need to make a video on this. Like, Snake, how would you describe this week's weekly reset? It makes me want to take off my scaly skin. That was only a little bit cringy. Anyways, guys, I don't want to bore you with anything. <laughs> I, I don't want to bore you guys with anything else. So make sure you guys do leave a like on this if you guys enjoyed and if you guys want to see more weekly resets because I know I don't do them often. Man, you're really staring that dude down, Snake. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a jerk to him. All right, so let's get into the weekly reset. We're gonna start off here with the bomb. We're gonna drop it right here. Boom. The lightweight M4. Arguably... <laughs> Snake. Arguably the best gun in the game right now. One of the best assault rifles in the game. And, well, pretty much, yeah, arguably the best gun in the game. And it got its first ever blueprint. Never before seen. We have it. The lightweight M4 blueprint. So make sure you guys pick this up. This is a must have you can try to get your awesome god rolls you don't have to go off of what is here but also there's another lvoa that i will be talking about later but i would definitely buy this also i know svds are extremely popular right now in terms of the whole marksman rifle dealio so get this blueprint as well i don't also think we haven't seen the svd blueprint yet so get it as well now this is also another thing like this this blueprints vendor is really stacked right now the small grip red this is the blueprint or like this is the attachment that you want to use for any gun that can fit it and i'm pretty sure it's any gun you know except piss or something like that this has a main stat of critical hit damage and then the random bonuses can be something like i don't know stability reload speed and all that stuff so definitely pick this up this will be what you want for the under barrels for your guns and you can test your luck with rng and stuff to get the highest rolls possible also there's an electronics gear mod here obviously you can try to uh you know boost up that skill power as much as you can because that's extremely important in 1.6 being able to heal efficiently and uh being able to deal damage at the same time also snake told me i don't have it on me here but there's a firearms gear mod as well level 34 but i do already own it so that's why it's not showing up for me but that is also here so in terms of the blueprint vendor extremely stacked so make sure you guys hop on that so at the special equipment vendor if we scroll down to the gear first of all we have this tenacious mask i believe that these are these and refresh masks are the best high-end masks to use in the game right now this one is pretty modest in what it has 12-22 stamina, all resistance, which you'd obviously pr probably want to reroll for skill power and damage to elites that comes pre-hit. It's not the best tenacious mask, but if you guys don't have one and you need one, this one's here for you. Moving on down, we have probably some of the best sentry knee pads that I've seen. These ones, almost a max firearms roll, 15,000 health pre-rolled, plus damage to elites, bleed resistance, and blinded death resistance. This paired with an urban MDR, if you guys have it, this is probably one of the best applications for the MDR, assuming you have it. Mission failed. We'll go next time. Definitely run Sentry's Call, as you can do immense damage with the whole headshot damage, accuracy, and of course, the marking thing that sentry does moving on down to the holsters we have a nimble holster that's really respectable got a great armor roll crit chance pre-rolled you can roll that to health whatever you want but the main stat rolls on all of these are above 1200 so that's good for you guys moving on down oh, here uh, this gear works for me. moving on down here to the extended mag this is a really good extended mag it has 111 magazine size which i believe is max correct me if i'm wrong but as reload speed and rate of fire which is what you want it also increases dps and inflates it a little bit more and makes it look like you're better than you actually are also if you guys want to run predators mark these are extremely respectable predators mark knee pads for you electronics pre-roll but you guys also have to know that electronics aren't like i said before a necessity to have 1.6 so this these are definitely a good pair for you guys if you guys want to run some predators mark to get like the extra uh, set bonuses for the assault rifle damages and the smg damages too so that's it for you guys as well moving on over to the advanced weaponry vendor not really much here in the whole weapons section but there's another extended mag it's a little bit better with the reload speed and rate of fire i believe but the mag size is one percent less so if you care enough you can also get this here also if you want to spend credits this one's here for you and you don't have to spend hard-earned phoenix credits on an extended mag if you guys need one so over at the wolves den safe house we have a lvoac with really respectable damage a upper to mid-range roll on the damage 
almost max enemy armor damage with fierce, unforgiving, and destructive. Now, this actual roll is extremely good in 1.6. You'll be able to hit fierce really easily with the way that, you know, people use electronics now in building and whatnot. So fierce should be really easy to get. Destructive is on the bottom and you have unforgiving as well. So if you like, you know, possibilities, you could roll fierce off for responsive. You can have responsive and unforgiving and destructive. Great LVOIC for if you need it. I'm not sure that's all there is to it. Okay, Fei Lao, you've said enough, okay? That's what I thought. So moving on to the Dark Zone vendors or what we have at least in them. Up in the lower right side, Dark Zone 09 vendor is a small group red with, I believe, is a max critical hit damage roll, reload speed, and stability, which would be my recommended setup for with attributes for small grip but this is for the people you know that want to at least get some of their dark zone credits away or just you know have that guaranteed role for you so at the east 53rd street a vendor in the top right of dz06 is a refreshed mask taking a closer look to it it has a really respectable armor roll on it 991 which is about 10 off of the max a really great electronics roll, critical a chance and damage to elites already on it. So, re-rolling it, it should be pretty easy, just tone it to your build and what you want it to be. But, refreshed helps a lot, especially with how healing works with med kits and first aids now. So, I would definitely pick this up if you guys want to run it rather than tenacious masks. Alright. At the top left, Dark Zone 06 checkpoint, we have a prototype electronics mod, another mod, but this one is definitely good and something that I'm actually gonna... Actually, I have no space in my inventory. Well, if I did, I would buy. It has 251 electronics, obviously, so you can boost your skill power and your heals and all of your skill power, obviously. And it has health on it, so it increases your toughness as well. And with the build I'm running, where I'm not running much stamina, health is extremely important. And if you guys are following what I did in my best build for 1.6 video, then this would be the ideal mod that I would use as well, paired with some other firearms mods that I will actually show you next in the video. So, taking a look at the gear vendor, this prototype firearms mod is definitely something that I would use if you guys don't have it because it has firearms and health. Like I said, health is extremely important for my build and a lot of other builds as it increases, increases your toughness and makes you harder to kill. Definitely use this and pair it with electronics mods. That's what I would do so you can optimize your build the best it can be. Obviously, the farms roll is a tiny bit lower than I would want it to be, but if you don't have one, you should get it. But also, don't forget that we have the firearms blueprint over at the blueprint vendor down in the base of operations too if you guys want to test your luck there. You do you, Snake. You to you. <laughs> so at Camp Hudson in the lower left part of the map, we have a black market SASG-12, a sausage with really modest damage, swift, vicious, and brutal. You can roll obviously vicious off or something like that for responsive and it'd be a super good SASG if you like to cheese that stuff. I know I don't, but I know that people do. So if you like using it, then please whack people with your sausage. All right, moving over to the Ward safe house in the open world, we have some prosperous pets. Now wait, before you start throwing stuff at me, start throwing those tomatoes, hold them, please. If you're poor and you can't get the short bows like me because I can't freaking get them for my life. If you guys can't, these are an extremely good pair of knee pads. Obviously, prosperous is pretty garbage, but that doesn't matter. The rolls of the actual knee pads are pretty much ideal for all situations. It has damage to elites, increased kill XP, and shock resistance, which is extremely important in PvP as every single person uses shock turrets or shock grenades, and a super high firearms roll as well, plus health pre-rolled. So, if you guys need a good pair just to have of knee pads, and you're running like a high-end build or something, obviously if you, have a, if you have set knee pads, then use those, but these are just really good for a blank pair of knee pads. Hey, dude, you looking at yourself through that window? No? You're just, gonna, you're, you're just gonna shoot at me instead? Fine! Fine! You want some of the- And finally, to cap off this weekly reset, we have more mods. At the gear mod vendor in the Dark Zone 0 of 4 safe room, we have a prototype firearms mod, which I actually believe is better than the other one that I showed you. 245 firearms with a near max health roll in the mod. So I would definitely pick this one up over the other one. Yeah, I- <laughs> I definitely would. Also, we have a prototype performance mod with Ballistic Shield Health, so if you guys are running those defense builds, running those help 
builds for what what am i even trying to say running those builds to help out your teammates and incursions then definitely pick this up too if you want to play that role on your team so with that being said there we go that is your weekly reset you know that dance will literally it, it will never stop being funny <laughs> You look like such an idiot when you do it, dude. So I want to thank you guys for watching this weekly reset video. I hope you guys have found something that you can buy and use and benefit from in this video. I know I will definitely be using a lot of the things that I've went over in this video too. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed, as it always helps me out. This has been Tuxbird and Snake DST. Optimize your bills. Rolling 1999. Yep. Peace out, guys! That was so terrible. <laughs> what, what? what was that? Squaw!